Hey there, what's up? My name is Ryan, and this video is all about getting revenge on Eon Zen. If you saw my first video with Eon Zen, you know that I got destroyed. But today, things are going to be different. I mean, I think they're going to be different. I don't really know. All right, let the revenge begin. I have Kadir here going against the Carapist Queen. And up first is her. She starts out with a minion, the Hay Spewer. Uh, it's a persistence. Nothing happened yet. Next turn, wow, Nemesis, Nemesis. I don't know, maybe this is good, just to get this out of the way. Gravehold suffers damage equal to this minion's current life. Okay, that stinks. So we have already down the 25 damage. I hadn't taken a turn yet. That's not, that's not a good way to start my revenge journey. Literally starting out losing 25 out of 30 health already, but that's okay. New card here, ooh, a swarm. Okay, so this is a swarm. Basically, the swarm is what activates the husk. If there are zero to three husk up here, you just place four out here. So now the husk are going to start being bad for me next time. Discard this. I did not look at her card, so I don't know if there are a lot of swarms. I don't know if there are, maybe they're probably a good thing to get out of the way early, but I really don't know. All right, now I know I'm going to get three turns in a row. So my first turn here, I finally get to go. This is my starting hand. I'm definitely going to prep that spark there. And I have one, two, three, four bind power. This also lets me gain a health, but I haven't lost any health yet and you can't go above your maximum. So I get to buy four. All right, I'm gonna get a couple of these things that will increase my buying power right now. I'm going to assume I will not get damage. So I'm gonna keep this one on the bottom. My issue last time I played the game was I kept reshuffling this. You're not supposed to, so I will try my best. Okay, I need to move these down, so I'm gonna run out of room up here. All right, and drop to five. So, flip this over. My next turn, the first thing that happens is my spark goes off. I'm going to deal a damage, so this husk is gone. The husks are like minions with one health, so you wanna to try to keep down as much as possible up here. Okay, first I'm going to prep some spells here. I will prep a spark right there. I'm gonna spend these three crystals to open my second one. I can open for just three ether. So I've opened a second breach. I will prep another spark. I'm kind of happy that she took both her turns in a row. The carapace queen is kind of done for a little bit. So prep both those. These go over here. I have no bind power though, because I used my three to prep that, but I do have two spells available. All right, um, I, I draw five. I'm not going to shuffle. Oh, one down, one down. One, two, three, four, five. This should be pretty boring looking, but that's okay. And then I'm going to flip this over and I go again. So I'm gonna, first thing happens is both my sparks go off. I can choose to not set them off. You're allowed to not set your sparks off because these are open breaches, but, but I might as well try to get rid of those, those husks over there. So these two go off, they go to my discard. Two more of these come off the board. So if another of this goes off, she's going to get four more, but that's okay. It's not doing anything negative. All right, then I play my turn here. Okay, I simply have a buying power of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven if I'm getting a spell. Okay, right, I'm gonna buy a pearl here for a little more buying power, and I'm going to buy this lava tendril. I'm gonna put the lava tendril down here after that, actually, to probably break up some of my spells. All those go to discard. Now, interesting things can happen again. I'm gonna reshuffle this puppy. The one thing I'm allowed to reshuffle. All right. Well, this game started off better than last time. I'm not saying I have a shot. Let's start it off a little better. All right, here we go. Up next is Nemesis again. It's okay, I deserved that. Oh, I should have done damage to this. <laughs> I don't deserve to win. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh great game, Eon Zen. I don't deserve to beat you. I should have killed, tried to kill this thing here because this is going to do another four damage to Gravehold. Gravehold's almost a third of the way dead already, so. This goes right there. I also have no prep spell, so there's nothing I can really do. And then we're gonna flip a card. Oh nice, that's a very low time to draw. So I place one per card over here. That's just one, that was very fortunate. So that's that turn. Okay, three, unfortunately I can't do anything about, I can't do anything about that right now. Um, I really should have done a damage, but I just wasn't thinking. So flip this over, draw the top card. So I'm up to four now. I will definitely prep these two. If I have one more turn first, I'll get a chance to do a little damage to this and save great a little bit. So, okay, with by power of three, I'm going to gain this spell right here. 
Put my crystals over here. All right, ah, Nemesis. Okay, so unfortunately this is activating again. I'm already down to 18 right here. That was a very big mistake. He won't take another turn, but okay, another minion. If there's at least one husk in play, prevent all damage dealt to this minion. Ooh. Then every turn he's gonna put a husk into play. So I have to kill all the husk to get to that minion. Like I said, I didn't read all the stuff first, so I'm kind of discovering for the first time, which is actually makes it a lot more fun. So here we go. Okay, well, my sparks go off first. So these two sparks are going to go off. I will kill two husks. Have a chance of getting rid of the rest of the husk here. It's possible. So I'm going to do prep a spark, prep a lava tendril. Okay, this one here says to look at your top card then either discard it or return to the top of the deck. I really like cards like that. Um, I will discard it. Okay, so with four buying power, I'm going to gain a ruby. Put this on top. Now I'll be very fortunate. Oh yeah, only one left. I have to go next. I don't know what I was thinking. I can lose a health, it says, to attack multiple of these at once. So I'm going to choose to do this here. Deal three damage. That's going to get rid of these two. I also, I had to lose a health to do that. So I lose a health there. And then also I'm just going to use my normal spark and I will actually take one more shot at this. So when this goes off, I only lose one more health to my great fold. Okay, so I knew that was okay because I have an emerald shard which allows me to heal. Yeah, I got the health back. Um, I'm also going to prep this and I have a total of one. Oh, this says one or any player gains a life. You know, I will not gain the life. I'll just wait till I get a little more hurt first, just for fun. And I will take the, um, so take back that dance. I will take the uh, ether. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna take this and hopefully get rid of a couple more of these basic cards. And with the other three, I'm gonna focus this. And then we have, shuffle this up. Oh, nice. Okay, so I have this I'm going to go off. My Spectral Echo goes off. I can deal two damage. I have to deal all to one person or one one enemy. So I think then I'm going to start working on this Brood Worm here just to start getting that guy a little closer to it. Because once I start drawing these Nemesis cards, it's going to start throwing Husk out there. I'm going to prep two Sparks. I also have, or if I gain a spell, I have five. I take a Essence Theft. And then next up is Nemesis. I deserve this, it was his turn pretty soon. So this guy still has one left, one health left. So he's going to knock me down to 17. This all by itself has done most of the damage done to um, Gravehold. This Blood Worm is going to activate a Husk. That's what he does. And then we're going to flip a card. Wow. Gravehold suffers 18 damage. Players may collectively discard up to six gems. For each gem, take away three of this damage. Interesting, this seems like a bad card for for solo play because it says players collectively do something, but there's only only one of me, so that seems like a little bit of an odd card. Um, I, I, don't, I don't love that card. I can't do it yet because it hasn't gone off yet, so I'm just kind of stuck with it, and hopefully I have crystals in my hand when that comes up. All right, <laughs> Nemesis it is. So this guy here is going to spawn a husk into play, and then this does go off. I will discard these crystals. I guess I could, I guess I need to discard this one too. Um, so that's three. That blocks nine of the damage. There's still nine more damage that's going to be done. So this goes all the way down to nine. Again, not to complain about the game, but that doesn't seem like a great card for a solo game because of that. If you had four players, you all four could collectively discard gems. By myself, I just have that one hand, so. Lucky I had a couple, so. Okay, to discard, lose four charges. If not, there's a swarm, an unleash, and then a swarm. Ooh, okay. There is four powers. All right, so first turn up here, I have a damage. And a damage. These have to go towards the husk. I can't hit him until the husks are gone. And then I'm going to prep a spark here. All right, so. The spark goes off. Um, I will do one damage. All right, 
I hope I get another turn here. I'm going to prep that spell. I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have a five total. I'm going to use this five and just kind of hope I can get some charges because I really need to keep that from going off. So I do waste, you know what? I will use this one to gain a health because I only need four to do that. So there's a four for that and there's that. And I'll try to get these good ones at the top here. All right, so we're gonna reshuffle. Okay, it's my turn. So let's see what we can do. So first of all, we're going to use this. We will deal two damage. So we will get rid of this minion right here. That will make more husk go out there. I haven't hit the main bad guy yet, but I'm working through some of the minions. Now, it also lets me destroy card in hand. So if I have a basic crystal, I can destroy that and kind of clean my hand up a little bit. I also accept. <laughs> I will not do that because I can use these four. I'm going to definitely prep this. I will use these four. I will put these charges up here. I kind of have to. So I'm not going to use my destroy because I need these charges. I will play all of those. I want to put this one here. And that gives me four charges. So I will get rid of this card with those four charges. Lose with the four charges. So I have done that now. I haven't shuffled yet. I'm learning. Two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Things have not been too bad lately. So this goes off. It says, I may discard a hand. If I do, a discard a card in hand. If I do, any player gains a life. Um, I don't need any more health. You can't take more than max health, so I can't do that. It deals three damage. So I finally did damage to our, our baddie here. So, <laughs> Carapace Queen. I'm going to prep two spells since I have two spots available. Okay, I'm gonna reveal the top card and either put back on top or put in the discard. I'm gonna gain a heal, and I don't know if I'll get to that point, but it'd be kinda nice to start gaining some health back. This allows me to heal my base, so that might be necessary. So I I can't keep this up for much longer. Pretty soon, bad guys are gonna take a turn, which is nice. There are some older games you roll and you see whose turn it is, and that's not any fun at all because it's too random. This is kind of fun. You might get lucky and get three turns in a row, but you know their turn is coming up, so draw a card. Okay, any player suffers two damage, and we're going to unleash twice. All the bad guys say what happens when you unleash, so this says you unleash, and you play two husk, and then you unleash again, so there are two more husks. So suddenly, the husks are filling up again. Now, she could easily take another turn here, and she does, so we're gonna flip a card. Um, so this says, okay, she swarms twice, or any player suffers four damage. So she swarms twice. It says, any player discards a prep spell, place two husks into play, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna try to suffer the four damage, see if I can, so I can get it, because I can get lots of these husks on in my turn, so I'm just gonna risk it. So I know I'm up next, this is actually gone now. I know I'm up next, so we have me, this is going to go off. Actually, at least the spark's going to go off. The spark here, get rid of one husk. This here, I could have it go off and deal three damage, or I could leave it prepped, and at the end of my casting phase would deal a damage. Since I only have one spell in there, I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave it prepped and deal free damage. Now I'll play on shooting off next turn. If I had two spells here, I would have shot it off now, but I will do that. I will get that there. I'm going to use this Emerald Shard to gain a health. This card is not end up being that helpful, but I'm going to do it and get rid of at least one of my crystals and clean up the hand a little bit, and I get a draw card. There's another crystal. Okay, I'm going to try to get a Lava Tendril here and toss these two over here. This is where Luck kind of comes in again. We're going to shuffle this up and hope that... You know, this, might have, this would be a turn I think I'd want her to go. I don't really mind her having... I mean, I need to take shots at her at some point but it would not be the worst thing. So, okay, that's her turn. I say that and now watch me somehow lose on this. I don't really know what these cards do. So, minion, nothing happens yet, but every turn, Gravehold suffers two damage. I need to kill this thing real fast. It has 11 health and Gravehold is going to keep getting damage. So, I have to take that down first thing. So, I got one damage for it and I'm going to go ahead and shoot off this to try to, well, let's see, do I have two spells? I could focus a spell. And, okay, since I won't be able to kill on my turn anyway, I'm gonna leave this one prepped and do a damage. I do a damage if it stays prepped. I have to use a spark, which is going to be a damage. And then 
I will prep this spell here. I will also spend these two and focus, which I had one more, but I don't want to focus this one. Now, if I spend three more, I can open that. But for right now, I will just use the fact that I focused it and put this one right there. And I am wasting a crystal at the end of my turn, but not a lot I can do about that. So we got that. Um, oh wait, ooh, I did all that, but I didn't flip the card. Okay, good, I don't take any of that back. That's why I flipped out. I took my turn after his turn, even though I shouldn't have done that. So now we have another turn, nice, nice, okay. Deal two damage, one, two. Then discard a card in hand. I'm gonna keep getting rid of these crystals and try to clean my hand up. And then we have deal three damage. Discard a card in hand. If you do, any player gains a health, I will take that health. So right now we are at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm still four away. So since I'm four away, I'm gonna leave this one prepped. I can't kill it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't kill it yet. So when I leave it prepped, I'm gonna do this. Use a focusing orb. It says destroy this. Gravehold gains three health. I will definitely take that three health. Can we reveal the top card and see if I want to keep it there? I will. I'll discard that and hope for better cards. Now, just a two, I still think it's worth it to get a Jade here and hope for some better some better things, so. All right, I could take one more turn. That would take a lot of luck, but, well, it's 50-50 here, so, okay. So, Gravehold suffers two damage. It's okay, I know I can kill him I'm before the next time Gravehold suffers damage. And then, okay, so while this is in play, Husk now have two life. Damage Husk heal at the end of the turn. We immediately do an Unleash, and then also, if I don't get this through, if I don't take care of this, um, oh, okay, so there's no way to take care of this. There's no way to get this. You can't get rid of this thing. This is just going to be here. I know if my turn is next. You know, the first time I played this game, I kept reshuffling my cards, and it's cheating. You're not supposed to reshuffle, but it only hurts yourself. I'm going to start to turn out with a 9, 10, 11. So this thing is finally gone, and we have a spark here, which I will hit a carapace queen with. So we got a spark, we might as well prep the spark. We have a lava tendril again. I like having those around. I can't hit those husks yet. You know, I think I'm going to gain a life and then use, gain a life and then use these three I have here to open my next breach. Oh well, hey, look at that. I didn't know that. I guess I haven't played this game before. This actually says you get plus damage on casting. I want to open that breach first. Put this spark, oh, I should have been rushing to do that sooner. I, I did not know that, so, oh well. I feel like I've been able to extend the game longer than I thought. When that first guy did so much damage to Gravehold, I thought it was over, but. All right, let's see what happens next. I'm up next, so. Okay, so we have a spark, which is going to do one damage plus one, so that will get rid of one of those guys. And this guy here, I'm going to go ahead and discard and deal three damage and get rid of another one of these. I just don't want to let these build up. That's what this card is all about, laying those guys build up. So we're definitely going to take this one here, deal three damage. We're definitely going to take this one. All right, I'm going to buy an Essence Thief. We're on to the next round. So we have Nemesis. First thing, we're going to lose a power, so this is closer to happening. We are going to draw a card. Interesting, so this one looks pretty rough. It says, Gravehold suffers four damage, which would be really bad for me, and the player at the lowest health suffers four damage, which would also be really bad for me. Or shuffle all the Nemesis turn order cards back into the deck. You know, it's kind of a lucky time to draw that. I will take that now, so I have to shuffle that back in. If I would have had two out, that would be maybe a little hard decision, but me losing four health and Great Hold losing four health is not an option right now. All right, so I'm up next. Okay, so first we have me deal two damage. So that last one's gone. And I get to destroy a card in my hand. I'm going to destroy one of these sparks because they're becoming less and less valuable to me, I believe. Um, Then I will deal three damage, you may discard a card in your hand. If I do, any player gains a life. I'm gonna discard this spark and gain a health. I think it's a good trade off my health for their health. I also, when I did that, of course, I did three damage. Put down the 53 right now. 
I'm going to prep my lava trendle to my new place. I knew to notice more damage now. I'm going to reveal the top card of my deck and see if I want to keep it. I will keep that one there. And I have four bind power. I'm going to buy another heal just so I can get enough of those out. Hopefully get Gravehold back up here. So, Wow, I have another turn. So that means that we're going to do Nemesis. Uh, the possibility of four Nemesis turns in a row. And if that did happen, I would lose. So um, we'll, well, I would have lost the other way anyway. So we'll see what happens here. So we got while prepped. I could keep it prepped and do a damage. I think I will. So I'll do a damage here. You know what? No, I won't because I can launch this and do the additional one. So I'll do four damage. We're down to 49. I'm going to prep a spark and a lava tendril. Okay, so if I do that, that additional, I got another essence thief. Those are the stars showing up soon because I got a lot of essence thieves. All right, we know what this is. Nemesis, that comes off. Yeah, this is going off before I can do anything else about it. And then we draw an attack. Ooh, the player with the most open breaches has to be me. Destroys, destroys four cards in hand. Oh, one, two, three. Wow, that was a bad one. That was really bad. Okay, well, it's not terrible on the crystal, but terrible in other ways. So that was that. And now we know we have another one coming up. So Nemesis, this goes off like this. This says power three. There's a swarm. So I took care of all these, so the swarm is just gonna put four husk on there. So now I have to kind of worry about another swarm, but I was able to keep down those and now the husk are back to normal strength. So no, wait, wait, she still has to draw. Okay, another power. So I immediately unleash twice. So we also went from no problems over here to really big problems up here. Okay, if this goes off, discard up to half the husk in play and do damage rounded up. Hopefully I don't draw two more nemesis in a row. Oh, nemesis again. Okay, so I have a pretty pathetic turn right here. Um, first of all, this is going to go off. So this is one, two, and then I'm going to take this now. Three, four, five, five total damage, which is good. Take off five of these husk oops. Okay, prep that one spell. That is unfortunately my turn because of all the discarding. All right, that's Nemesis. So we're going to do this. Oh, this one says discard up to half the tusk, round it up. That is four damage dealt. And then another swarm. Okay, and this one goes off. Unleash three times. One, two, three okay <laughs> and then they draw cards still okay we got a few turns in a row biggest priority is to get rid of more of more of these husk here so deal three damage i'm going to take a hit and i will hit three different husk here and then this here i'll put this spark here okay i'm going to destroy this card gain three health for grave hold all right we're going to try to gain another heal here and I'm up next. All right, so we have one damage. Then we have, I may discard a card in hand, nice. King of health. And then three more damage. I will lose a health <laughs> to spread that out. I'm gonna prep. All right, I'm gonna do this to gain a health. And I will do this to gain a courage. I haven't done this much this game, but my courage, now that I have a lot of spells built up, could really help me. All right, I go again here. So we're going to do three damage and I'm going to spend one to do to three different things. I will spend this to do three damage to the big guy here. All right, I'm going to discard this, heal us up again. Then I have a two. I will just gain a courage. All right, so Nemesis, this goes off most charges. I lose all my charges and I suffer four damage. So three health left, it'll be okay, don't worry about it. Then we're going to, this is done. I'm gonna draw a new card, attack. Ooh, okay. Any player places their discard pile on top of their deck, shuffles it. I'm allowed to shuffle my deck, I'm not breaking the rules, but this looks, this looks 
terrible. And then destroys the top four cards. If this is very unlucky, if I throw away all my good powers I've been trying to build up, this could be, this could be horrendous. Okay, one, two, three, four. The other thing is I'm almost out of cards too. I don't even have enough cards next time. So I destroyed a Lava Tendril, a Jade, Essence Thief, and a Crystal. That is, I don't wanna say it's good, but it's about as good as it can be. Okay, the rulebook doesn't specifically address what they said. If you ever need more cards, flip over your discard pile. Um, but I have to draw at the end of my turn. There are no cards in my discard pile because I just destroyed all those. So um, I guess I will just be with four cards for right now. If I'm playing that wrong, then, you know, I'll say at the end I should have won. Yay, another nemesis. Whew. All right, Maggot Engine. All right, unleash three times. One, two, three. Set health at twice as much. 14. And then, wow. Okay, that's not good. Just have a couple turns to deal with this now. So we're gonna flip this over. Um, my turn, I have a, I will deal three damage to him. We'll do three, that's actually four damage with that. I can discard a card and play. I can discard a card from my hand, but not one, two. This is also going to give me, let's see, three, four, Five, six, seven, that is eight damage. That is a start. At least I have another turn. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of cards to work with, but okay, we got this here, and then we have a lot of special stuff. Six, I wanna get six if I buy a spell. Okay, it's my turn again. This goes off. I may discard a card in the hand to gain a health. Do any cards I wanna discard? Not really. I need a health, I know, but okay, I do three damage. Okay, I just need to be able to go one, actually I will discard a card in my hand. I'll discard that spark right there because I don't have a spot for it. And then I'm going to do this, this, and this. Okay, for right now, I'm going to buy this spell. All right, this is a big moment. If I can draw one of my attack cards, I have a slight chance. Also, oh. Okay, Swarm is Gravehold suffers five damage. So, seven. That just happened, and then we got flip a new card. Okay, Jagged One, Unleashed twice, so let's not, or maybe I could survive this. If I could just get the Nemesis now, nope. I'm actually kind of wishing for something bad. If I could just get this Nemesis now, it's actually not, not the end of the world. So, um, okay, let's see how much damage I can do. So we have this one here, one, two. Then one for each additional thing. Three, four, five. This is six damage. Um, that's overkill. I will do this one for three damage to get rid of this maggot here. Ah. Can I keep this health? That'd be great. Okay, that's the three. And then we have six. And then we have seven, eight, nine. I never put the health on there. So five left. Okay, I can also discard a card in hand to gain some life. I will discard this, I will gain a life. Any player gains a life, and we'll do this and gain another life. Then I will just stick this up here. So I have a, that, that, and that. All right, Nemesis, the Jagged One, unleashes twice. All right, one, two, three, four. I need to do some big damage to this and get rid of those last guys there, so. Okay, I will use this here to do one, two, three, four, and then this one will be five. So this guy is gone. And then this here does two damage. I will kill a single husk with that. I will start prepping some spells. That's gonna be good to get rid of husk. So if I get one more turn, Essence Thief, Lava Tendril. Okay, I'm gonna do four and gain two more. Keep calling them courage, but they're charges. All right, it's my turn here. Last turn that I know I get to go before they go. So my goal this turn is to kill as many husks as possible. So this here does one, two, three, four, five damage. I'm gonna spend a health to spread that damage out like that. Got, you may discard a card in hand and gain three health or gain one health. I'm gonna do this and I will gain a health that's three damage. I'm going to start hitting big guy here. And this is also, um, I'll just do this and deal with three. That's there. 
and I will prep that and that. I have a total of two or three. I will take the two and get another charge and I will gain another life just in case I need it. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one here. I may discard a card in hand and gain a life or health. So that says I do three damage so we're going to do one, two, three. And then we have one, two. All right, then we're going to prep this guy, this guy, and this guy. Next turn should be good as long as one of these cards don't make me ruin it all. So we're going to do another charge. Okay, we're going to do this. I discard a prep spell. I will discard this one, and then I unleash two more of these, then I swarm again. This time it does. All right, our home is down to two health now. That was not nice. And then next we have, oh, all right, this could be it. Unleash twice and Gravehold suffers four damage. So one, two, three, four, and that is it. Ah, I was closer. I feel like I had my flow. Um, last time I wasn't, if you watched that video, I wasn't close at all. This time I feel like I was, I kind of started figuring it out part way through. Like I had, I started to get a balance. This was wasted. I shouldn't have done these charges because this doesn't really help me a ton because after they made me discard all those cards, it wasn't going to be that powerful. Um, but oh, I feel like I could have done it, but things just really, really went south there right at the end. But that was fun. Um, I'm not winning but it's a lot of fun. But yeah, it was close. If I could have had a couple more big turns of hitting this, or had a couple more of these cards at the, right now are doing five damage each turn, like it's possible. I mean, this would be me getting two turns in a row, possibly three or four turns in a row, depending on what gets shuffled. It, it was, oh, it was close. It was fun. This is a great game. It's a, it's a really hard solo game, but that's okay. I like games that actually give you a challenge. Click like if you enjoyed watching the video. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. See ya.